Welcome back guys Welcome back guys to another video for the ones that don't know me this is Manny Petrach For today's video we are going to be talking about the new FX3 Yes, I decided to go with the Sony FX3 rather with that than the Sony uh, A7S3 and I'm gonna go through why I decided to make this decision and upgrading of course from the Sony A6400 which is the one that I'm recording right now. The new FX3. The FX3 actually came out about uh, 45 months ago but I finally am able to get a hold of it. So let's 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 go ahead and open it up. It has a flip screen. It has a flip screen. The key that you just like. Hey. So first thing first, the Sony FX3 does not come with a viewfinder. As you can see, it does not come with a viewfinder. It comes with a flip screen, which I think is amazing. In comparison to the Sony A7S III, the FX3 is slightly smaller, and it's because of it lacks of the viewfinder. So, which I don't, I don't, I don't need a viewfinder nowadays. You just, you just need a flip screen, and the other way. Why would you need a viewfinder unless you like the viewfinder? If you like the viewfinder, go get the A7S3. That's it. As you can see here, we have the ISO, we have the white balance, and that's that's what I like. I, I, I want to access my white balance and my ISO right away instead of going through different um, buttons just to find those two. And there's something that, that came to my surprise, which I'm a really I'm really amazed with. Take a look at this. That's an HDMI port. Yes, just straight to it. It's HDMI. You don't gonna, you don't need an adapter to it for, to use it. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Now take a look when you when you go ahead and press the rec button. You have two rec buttons. You have this one. You have this one right here, and you have this one up here. Once you press the rec button, look what it happens. This one turn on. This one too so it's 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 great and also this little led turns on up here which is great to know because the one that i have right now the sony a6400 doesn't tell you that you're recording unless you're actually holding the camera so pretty much you can film up to 120 frames per second in 4k 4k resolution that's a lot which is great for me since now i'm doing more music videos and weddings 120 frames per second helps me a lot when it comes to just slow movements that we we love to see. If we open here, we have two slots, so that's great just in case we're not run out of memory. But this one, as you can see, this one takes CF Express A and SD. Right now, I'm using the CF Express which is this one right here it goes 800 megabytes per second trans of transfer data so that's that's really really fast in comparison to the other camera that I had as you can see the Sony a6400 has a 1.5 zoom and as soon as I put this one you're gonna see that I'm gonna have more space to film so let's go ahead and switch and here we are as you can notably see look look at how much more space now i'm covering with this camera and look at the definition they're both were at 4k but as you can see i have more definition on this one and it's 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 amazing let's actually go ahead and compare them one more time on this one this is the sony a6400 i'm using a 24 mil lens as you can see we have a 1.5 crop factor and now going back to the Sony FX3, you see that I have more space to film. I'm filming more of those angles. It's a touch screen. I can spot focus, I can focus back there as I can focus myself. That's 
a great feature that also the A6400 has because look at how small it is. Look at how small is this in comparison to the FX3. With that said, I'm really happy with my choice. I'm really happy with the Sony FX3 and as you can see, this part comes with the FX3. You don't have to buy it separately and it helps a lot with, again, with weddings and music videos. Well, not music videos, weddings most likely because you can plug more than one microphone. And not only you can plug more than one microphone, you see, one and two, you, you have full control of it right here. You can turn on the audio, you can use the audio if you turn it on or turn it off from the handle, so you, you choose. If you wanna use the audio from the handle or you wanna use the audio from the other port connecting another microphone. With that said guys, thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, smash it, whatever you want. And well, with that said, thank you so much guys for supporting the channel and have a great day until the next one.